right, on today's video, we're going to be talking about splicing uh, wires. And as you can see here over on the left, uh, yellow and blue, I have just an example of what, um, you know, kind of butt connectors we use in the, the automotive industry. Um, and I don't really like them. I, I kind of think they're junk. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, alternatives out on the market, but um, I come from an aviation background. And um, what you see here in red, blue, and yellow, these are uh, tin coated uh, aviation butt connectors. They're also considered, or you could call them um, non insulated uh, splicers. Um, these work really, really good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate that today. This is the tool that we use to to crimp them. I'm gonna kind of zoom in so you can see it. It also comes color coded for the specific type of splicer. Um, it's made by DMC, and it's kind of nice. It has this little I don't know what you want to call it, this little holder assembly. Um, so you'll actually load the the splice in from this side, and it stops at the right. Uh, depth and then you crimp it down and as you can see the the handles are closed um, to release it it's it's a ratchet style um, you squeeze it to release it you would load the splicer in you know you, of course you got to strip your wire and, and insert it and then you just squeeze down so we're going to demonstrate that here in a minute um, the splicers also come with this kind of opaque or clear um, shrink tubing and it also has adhesive on it, it seals really well. Um, once you connect this wire and put this uh, um, insulation on, uh, it's just not gonna pull apart and it'll be completely sealed so you don't have to worry about it being submerged. Uh, one other style of connector that we use, and hopefully you can see it here, um, BMW uh, makes this. They use these on their wiring. Um, uh, this is, I just looked it up on Amazon as a BMW uh, connector and this is what comes out. They're a little bit more expensive and more tedious to use, but the nice thing about them is you can see, see I'll try to point it out here. This area here is what would grab the bare wire, and then these two tangs here, they wrap around the insulation on the wire, so you get a really nice firm hold. Um, like I said, it's a little more tedious. I prefer the, the aviation ones that we're gonna be using today. Okay, hopefully you can see we've got the, uh, the wire. See if I can find it here. Hopefully you can see that we've got it stripped and I just twist it a little bit with my fingers. Same with the other side. Okay, now the really nice thing is when we do this crimp, you're gonna see the nice thing about the aviation splicers is they're color coded. And if you look at the tool, it is also color coded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna release the tool like so. And we're gonna take the splicer And we're going to drop it in the tool. Hopefully you can see that. Like that. And we've got it in the blue slot. Next what we do is we'll just load the wire. Like so. And then you just crimp down. And again, you can't go too far. You can see it's, it's at the correct position. A little stopper right here. I'm just going to squeeze until it releases, like so. Hopefully you can see it does a nice double crimp. You've got the little sight window right there where you can make sure that your wire is at the right location. And the other thing, and I think it's what's really appealing about these connectors to me is um, the diameter. It's virtually the same as the wire, um, which makes it really nice and clean. You don't have those big, ugly, bulky automotive ones. So to finish this uh, connection up, here you can see it, and it's nice double crimps. And right now, the wire is not going anywhere. But to finish it up, we're going to go ahead and slide on this, uh, um, this adhesive style. You can kind of see that white line there. That's the adhesive. Uh, we're going to use a heat gun and shrink this up um, just so you can see it. Ok, 
Okay, now hopefully you can see here again, I'll use my hand, that this uh, aviation tile uh, type um, shrink tubing is clear so that you can actually still see the blue stripe um, on the splicer. And also notice that this end of the, uh, the shrink tube um, is also color coded. So that's it. So the last thing I'm going to show is the uh, BMW connectors that we, we first showed. Um, this is it, and hopefully you can see here um, the connector actually wraps around the wire and right about here, and I'll move my hand here in a minute and see if I can use a pen. This part is what crimps around the wire, so it's a really nice, um, clean uh, connection, and it's also really rugged. I mean, you're not going to be able to pull this apart. A um, little, little more time consuming. I like the, uh, the aviation ones just because the tool makes it really nice. Now, part of the cost on the aviation splicers are the, uh, the shrink tubing that we showed because they have an adhesive in there. They dry clear or they, they shrink clear um, to really make it nice, visible, low profile. But they tend to be kind of expensive. So if you wanted to go with an automotive style shrink tube, that's what I'm trying to show here. They also have a marine grade that has an adhesive, and I think that would work fine. But what I'm trying to show is just the low profile. It's really nice. You don't have those big bulky automotive style connectors, and they don't seal. And by the time you heat shrink them, or or even if you solder, it's just a big bulky kind of a mess. I, I think the aviation splicers are are the way to go. You know, like this. This is uh, the copper that you see here. You don't need as much wire or uh, the insulation stripped off the wire. We went a little long on this one. This was just our, our test little piece of wire that we were practicing on. All right, that's it. Aviation splicers are the way to go, and I'll include the link.